Hey, what's up you guys? We are back with another eating video and let me tell you it has been a long time coming. Legitimately, I feel like I have been run ragged like last week and this week it's been non-stop and then all of a sudden I had like a little bit of a, a skin issue that I might have picked up at the gym that appeared right on my face and I was like, okay. I think this is the universe telling me to say slow it down or rob. However, after working out, doing doubles, and being good, I figured that we deserved a little bit of a a little bit of an eating show cheat. It's not really a cheat, to be honest with you. It's all keto, and I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. So today we have a little bit of wing stop. And um, the thing about this one is I've been seeing so many people doing eating shows with wings. And I really, you know, I didn't, I, w I kind of like glanced at the nutrition and I was like, um, I guess, like, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit blah. I was like looking at one gram of carbs per two wings, but, and here's a lesson in net carbs, uh, you always need to subtract some fiber from the carbs. And I took a look at it at, and it said one gram of carbs for two wings and also one gram of fiber for two wings. So it was like, it's. It's zero net carbs. Like the whole thing is zero net carbs. No wonder people are doing these eating shows on wings. So I've been pretty good today. I don't think I've, I think I might've had maybe some trace carbs, but really I've just had some pepperoni, some cheese, and like a couple uh, pork rinds on the way out the door. So I'm actually pretty low on carbs today. So I figured I could go ahead have some wings, have a little bit of ranch to go along with them. He gave me like so many ranches, you guys. I was like, I, I, listen, don't get me wrong. And that's the one thing that I actually didn't realize is that ranch isn't very high in carbs. I believe like per serving, it's about uh, two, two grams of carbs. So I'm not really going to eat all of that, but it's nice to have. So I figured we'd go ahead and dive in. Now, the cool thing about Wingstop is there are many flavors that are actually zero grams of carbs. Not not everything, of course. Like they have like some Hawaiian flavor. Um, they came out with like a Korean spicy style, which has honey in it. I was like, oh, I'm missing out. It looks really, really yummy, but unfortunately we can't have that. So what we do have is we have lemon pepper, we have garlic Parmesan, and then we also have, ooh, these look fucking good. We've got Cajun, I think this, this is, it, one of these is Cajun, one of these is Louisiana Rub. I'm, you guys are going to have to correct me as to which is which. Um, I think the Louisiana Rub is probably the red one. Anybody from Louisiana, let me know which is which because literally I just kind of ordered them like that. Um, so I actually want to go ahead and dig in because I did have a workout today and I've actually been doing some workouts at home. Uh, I've got some weights and I've been working out shoulders and arms because... I actually went to the gym and I worked out um, uh, arms for like the first time in a long time. I was like, I don't need to work out arms. It's not that big a deal. I got this. So I went ahead and went what I thought was going to be a lightweight for me. And I tried lifting and I was like, oh, Rob got super duper weak. I was like, okay, well, we got to fix that. Now I'm going to go ahead and try out one of these. Um, I think, wait, I can, I probably, this one is lemon pepper. Ooh, you can smell the lemon off of these. Now there's a trick to eating flats. Um, I don't remember if I remember how to do it. I think I eat like the back end of it. I think I like, hmm, hmm, you break off the back end, which is inedible, by the way. And then you just go, hmm, hmm, it kind of work. Oh, lemon pepper is really fucking good. So I figure with this too, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of a taste test. And just so that you guys know, I think all of the um, like like actual buffalo wing sauces, those ones are also um, zero net carbs except for Atomic. Atomic is two net is two carbs, but it's only one net carb because it has some fiber in it. So, like I'm gonna give lemon pepper a thumbs up. It's actually a lot more lemony than I expected it to be. And I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, uh, especially when we're talking about like lemon pepper wings. Um, but legitimately for me, usually when you get lemon pepper wings, you taste more of the pepper and you get like a little hint of lemon. This is actually like strongly citrusy, which I kind of like. And the cool thing about that is um, on 
on keto you don't really get too many fruits which does break my heart and I'm gonna do a little bit of a video um, that covers some of the drinks that I've discovered recently or some of the um, keto discoveries recently that'll help you fill your needs because I found an apple juice or an apple juice 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 is what we want to call it we don't want to call it actually like apple juice you know because it's not oh so let's see if we can find another flat and demonstrate again I'm just doing a little cleanup just doing a little cleanup because i don't know if you guys know asian moms i'll be like you didn't get all the meat off that bone like toss me your bones i'll suck them dry i'm like okay mom that's who it was when i was a kid mm. okay so lemon pepper definitely a big thumbs up let's try this garlic parmesan and let's get another flat so again i think you eat you bite off i just can't fucking tell which end it is is it this end or is it this end i don't know but one of the ends comes off very easily i think that's the one hmm Mmm. Mmm. All right, so I had to cut that part mainly because of the fact that a piece of chicken got stuck right in between my teeth and was like dangling out. I was like, no, don't do this to me. I think I might have done this one wrong. Um. Mmm. Garlic parmesan. That's actually really fucking good. Really, really good. I mean, I bet you I could make these at home, but... Mm, I have to admit. That is damn good. Now, if you guys... Specifically have any flavors that you really love... Mm, are you guys more of a buffalo chicken kind of person? Do you like... Um, do you like more of the sweet kind? I know that a lot of... Like, you can't really have sweet on keto. But... There's a part of me that's along the lines of saying, that's along the lines of saying, like, we should be able to make some sort of sauce, because I did just make maple glazed bacon the other week, right? So, a part of me is like, alright, we have erythritol, we have a couple other sweeteners that work very similarly to sugar, couldn't we just kind of, like, mix that up with some, with some soy or something along those lines, and get a variation? That is very, very close because I miss, like, sticky sweet wings. I'm like, oh, so into that. All right. It's hard to decide between those two. Like, they give very, very different things. Le lemon pepper is really, really tangy. And I like that tang, especially because of the fact that, like I said, we don't get too much, like, citrus when it comes to uh, keto diets. So I figured, let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to assume that this is the Cajun. This one, okay, so you guys will have to kind of let me know. I'm assuming this is the Louisiana rub and this is the Cajun. Would I be right? I'm not 100% sure. But we'll find out. Ooh. Ooh. I'm excited. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. That's got a little fire to it. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I can't remember. Are you there? Hmm? Listen, we're going we're gonna to break down the mystery. One of these ends. I think that's the end. So we'll find it. Mmm. Oh, I'm gonna go <laughs> to be honest. If this is the Cajun rub, I think I'm the... Like, this is the one that I don't like. I don't, I don't dislike it. It's just not as good as the other ones. Mmm. Mmm, not your arm. That one came out really, really smoothly. Okay, so personally, I'm gonna put the Cajun, which I'm assuming this is, mm, at the very, very bottom. Like, that one's okay, but it's definitely not like. Like, when I had lemon, I was like, ooh, that's, like, zingy. I like that. I'm into that. And then when I had the, um, the garlic parmesan, I was like, okay, y'all got me fucked up. Because I thought that for one second, 
that the lemon pepper was gonna kick your ass, but no. Now we're gonna try this one, and this one, is this Cajun or is this, I can't, I can't tell. You know what, we'll, we'll take a look at it, we'll figure out on the website or something, but this looks like it got, it's got some rub on it and it's got some buffalo sauce on it, we'll find out. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, it's good. Mmm. Neither one of these ends want to break off. No, what do I do? Hmm. Whoo! Whoo! Okay. So, for this one, which I'm assuming is the Louisiana rub. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's one of them. But, this one right now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. No. This one has to be the Louisiana rub. And this one has to be the Cajun. Because if you look right here, if you look at the hot scale, they actually have a hotness scale on here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. But Cajun is right up here, and um, Louisiana rub is right here. Ha! Ah, it's burning my mouth, bitch! It's, it's good, though. Mm. So Cajun, which is this one, is like... You know, I thought I could be on the show Hot Ones for a minute. I'm a pussy. What the fuck? Oh my god. Ah, I'm gonna need to eat this bitch with ranch. That's what's gonna happen. Mm. I'm dipping your ass in ranch because... That's the only way I'm gonna make you work. Mm. After this one. Ah, bitch! Bitch! Bitch, my lips are burning! Okay. So, I have a question for you guys. Because this is... Whew, this is what I'm about to do. Alright. So, this is what I'm going to do. I don't know if you guys do this. And by the way, today's drink of choice, we're going to have a little bit of a Powerade Zero. Um, what I like to do is I like to eat the things that I like the least first, so I kind of get them out of the way, and then, like, towards the end of the meal, I, like, save my favorites. I save all of, like, the favorite juicy bits, and I'm like, oh my god, these are the best. That's what I actually save it for. Oh my god, look at my mouth. Uh, that's so tragic. That's like, that's like, I've been conquered by the spiciness. Fuck you. I did not think that this was going to be a pussy out moment. Don't get me wrong. Like any good Asian boy, I am going to clean my plate. Slowly, but surely. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys do that too. Like you eat your least favorites first. And then you eat your like most favorites for the end. Because I think what's going to end up happening is... Listen, I love the flavor of the Cajun, but that shit hurts my mouth. So that's going to be the first thing that I eat. I'm going to like knock those out. I'm probably going to mix in some of the Louisiana rub to kind of like ease some of that pain. Thank God I didn't get a whole fucking pack of that. Oh, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. Um, and then I'm going to finish everything off <coughs> with lemon pepper and some garlic parmesan. Um, so... If you guys have not already tried out Wingstop or if you guys haven't already tried out your local wing joint, go and find them, take a look at their nutrition, see where their um, net carbs are. And remember, check for the carbs and then check for the fiber. Subtract the fiber from the carbs and we'll get all of that knocked out. I do want to end this. Well, not end this. I'm not going to end this yet. I'm going to eat all of this. But I am going to point out today is my Warframe birthday. And this is the only break that I've got. I spent all morning designing a UI for a charity stream that's happening on Saturday, which is tomorrow, and then I have a stream coming up right after this. Um, so I'm just kind of like fitting in this momentary Warframe birthday thing. I started out Warframe about, I think it's four or five years ago now. I can't even remember. Actually, let's go ahead and check real quick to give my mouth a little bit of a break. Let's give it a little bit of a break. And the way that you check it out is I believe Warframe activation all right so i'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see it but and it's probably going to be reversed on your screen but that does say 
June 8th, 2013. That is crazy. So wait, it's 2013. It's 2018 now. Five years. And I'm celebrating it by having wings in the middle of a video recording. Um, some UI changes for uh, the, the charity stream tomorrow and a stream later tonight. Ah, who knew? Who knew that five years later, this is exactly where I would be. Regardless, what I'm going to do... <clears throat> As, as with any of these videos, I'm going to go ahead and knock these wings out. I promise I'll show you all the bones. I swear to God, I will get through this Cajun one. I will get through the Cajun ones with a little help from uh, our friend Ranch over here. And then, I'm sniffly, bitch. These Cajun ones fucked me up. Um, what do you call this? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, knock these out. Take a little bit of time in them so I'm not like completely burning my myself in half. Um, and then we'll close everything out. All right, now I'm gonna be honest with you. I do feel like a little bit of a failure, mainly because of the fact that I am absolutely stuffed and I, I didn't think that wings would make me stuffed. But uh, let's take a look at this one. I've actually saved a bunch of this one. So this is the one that I still got. I've got like one, two, three. I've got three in here, three in here. Uh, this is all done except for two hot ones, which I actually wanted to go ahead and save um, So I can eat them here in front of you and you can watch me suffer not really I actually just wanted to show you the power of ranch because that first one I could barely get through I was like, oh my god, it's so freaking hot. My mouth is burning um, but via the power of ranch uh, I will show you that I can conquer these wings really really quickly and you can see these are like juiced up um, I'm still having issues trying to figure out which end is which, but, uh, it's hot and spicy, but you put enough, ah, ranch on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was the wrong end. Did I break it at the wrong end? Mm, no, I feel like I bro broke it at the right end. Mm. But let's knock this out real quick. And that's what's actually shocking. I did not think I would be this stuffed from wings at all. Like, But I feel like at the point where I'm like, I can't eat anymore. Mmm. 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 Now, one of the things I do want to point out is not everything goes with ranch. I tried the lemon pepper with ranch. That was weird. That was really weird. The Cajun ones are very, very good with ranch. Um, lemon pepper ones almost kind of made my stomach turn a little bit. I was like, oh, I can't have these with ranch. And I think that that might have signaled the end of like my meal, I was like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm still not good at telling which end is which. Cool, spicy. Mm -hmm. Now I will admit, after tasting all of these, I think that the garlic parmesan are definitely my favorite. Um, the flavor of these, while these are too hot for me, it's on their own. I actually like this a little bit better than the lemon pepper once you douse it with some ranch because legitimately, without the ranch, ha, it's just painful. Mmm. But, once you get the ranch in there, it's not actually all that bad at all. When I call these Louisiana, these are actually the Cajun ones. Mmm. And we are officially done. The one thing that I also discovered about me, and I don't know if this is going to be the same with the rest of you guys, but I do not like eating things with my hands. I had to keep like um, sucking the things off of my fingers constantly. But at the same time, I also had to keep like wiping my fingers down like all the time because I just don't like that weird 
greasy, gnarly feeling on my hands. It was just like, ugh. Mm. I am tearing up a little bit. But uh, we are going to call that a day so far. I think the winner out of all of these is the... Um, oh! See, there's a difference between just eating and talking. Now, as I'm talking, the spice just ramps up in my mouth. I'm like, I can feel it on every one of my mouths. But I made it through two wings on camera, which I couldn't do earlier. Mm. Via the power of ranch. Um, so I think favorite out of all of these are just the garlic parmesans. If you're into something a little bit more tangy, go ahead. Lemon pepper is going to be for you. And if you want something that's just going to kick your butt with a whole lot of spice, go ahead and go for the Cajun ones because, man, I'm not expecting them to be that high on the list. I'm going to go ahead and leave the nutritional info down in the um, link box there for you guys down below. Now, as for the weigh-in, I mean, I know this is like the end of it. Last week, I did really good and I lost about three pounds, 3.4 pounds. This week, however, I've completely stalled and I've only lost 0.8 pounds so far. I still have sat I still have one way on on Saturday. After, oh, I have one way on on Sunday. Sunday morning is when I weigh myself. Um, and we'll see exactly if I've lost any more than that. Whew, I hope the spice in this kicks up my metabolism so that I can go ahead and burn off even more of this fat. Regardless, that does do it for me for now. I hope you guys liked <clears throat> watching me suffer uh, but uh stay tuned there will be more videos uh coming up soon there's a couple that i have planned that are less just eating food videos and more kind of like discovery videos to go ahead and share with you guys and we might also do some non-keto stuff here pretty soon uh when it comes to tenocon because i got a pack uh so that about does it for me for now and as always love somebody hurt nobody and touch your body i'll see you guys next time Bye bye Oh, my mouth!